Hey guys, Matt Grace here with Upside Down Scooters TV and I got asked by someone on a previous video to do a tutorial on how to make bar extensions and as you might have saw on Facebook, I snapped my bars so I decided this would be a perfect time while well, I swap my bar extensions around to show you guys so yeah, that's how you do it Now firstly, I've got them on the, um, a spare set of Apex bars that I've got so they're about that wide so that's them there and I gotta hit them off so there's a little gap in between where I can hit this off it's in there pretty tight so it'll probably take a while so they're coming out as you can see there's like a big bolt inside it the rest out. There you go. So that's the big bolt there. It's it was um just got the end cut off. It was a like a kind of big screw. I'll see if I can adjust it. It was like a big screw kind of thing that went through it and it's been hit down to size so I've taken the screw, hit each part down to size and um basically just made the thread flat so if you can see right there the thread's not uh, yeah, the thread's not really like thread anymore it's quite flat so I did that so then it fits into the bars perfectly and um, at, at about there is where it starts to get quite hard to put in so that's how they stay in pretty well and um, you can't see now but over the top of it uh, there's the grip obviously but underneath it's just a um, little cut off bit of one of my old flavour bars so you can see it if I pull it off there yeah there it is right there so um yeah you gotta put that in first so to make them you get as wide as you need them on both sides you need one of these on both sides otherwise your bars will be uneven so one on that side and then the bolt through it uh, it goes into it about that much uh, so you still have room for the bar ends if the bar ends still don't fit in you can cut the bar ends so that the plug going inside is smaller and yeah that's how you do it and then they go in the end of the bars so also I add a little bit of tape around it just in case so that they don't come out um, I actually have to take these off so we'll do the same to this side And there you go. So that one's out now. So now we have two. One's a bit longer than the other, but it really doesn't matter. Just, I couldn't be bothered cutting the other one down. So yeah, Apex bars. Anyone want to buy them? You can buy them from me. I don't want them. Alright, your bars. My new Apex bars. Is, the other ones are too low for me, so... Um, I actually have to put a set of old bars inside this part, so see if we can find a part here that we can put, it, put in. Yeah, looks about right. It's just the end of the <laughs> set of the same bars. So we're going to put that inside there, so that um, that way we, we're going to put this bit inside the oversized clamp. That, that way we won't need a cut the bars down, the bars won't need to be cut for SCS because it will be something inside it to, oh, Jesus. <laughs> to stop it from um, clamping together and then not holding and making your bars turn so yeah I'm gonna put this in right now Quiet. Okay, so once you push them in, you just want to hit them. And this is down as far as it's going to go, so roll the grips back down. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.